What is going on guys? Grave here today. We got update 1.26 for Red Dead Redemption 2 and of course this is available on all platforms PS4, Xbox One, PC and Stadia. Uh, be sure if you want to check out the uh, patch notes in their entirety they will be linked down in the description. I'm going to try to go over all this. It's going to be a longer video than normal but they kind of broke this up on their support page. They have not updated the title update number yet but they did update you know for the days uh, you know normal date of December the 1st. Also they broke it down into the uh, you know, separate kind of weekly update we get as well from the news wires. So there's a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, before I get into it, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you click the subscribe button. If you like the video, I would appreciate a like on it. Of course, check out everything down in the description. Besides the patch notes, there's the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate GT Racing. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Of course, you can purchase a standalone version of Red Dead Online today on all platforms that is available on sale, 70% off from now until February. The Bounty Hunter Specialist role has been expanded. 10 new ranks of progression within the role along with access to free roam bounty missions, legendary bounty missions, as well as new equipment items, several new infamous bounty posters, Prestigious bounty hunters will encounter new dynamic bounty missions while roaming in Red Dead Online. A new legendary bounty mission has been added today as well. It looks like they're going to start doing these legendary bounties again week in and week out for the next several weeks. New rewards from the Wheeler, Rawson, and Co. catalog have also been added in. Uh, several new general awards, daily challenges have been added, and several new bounty, honey, uh, bounty hunter role related awards. Excuse me, I'll get it out here in a second. Um, you can purchase that prestigious bounty hunter role at any bounty board um, they did say once you reach rank 30 in the bounty hunter you will continue to accumulate bounty hunter xp which can be traded for uh, red dead cash or gold in the awards menu it says anyone that is new to the game can take five dollars off the normal bounty hunter license and also all bounty hunters can take 40 percent off bounty hunter items up to rank 20 now, some other things they did today, of course, is the new Outlaw Pass. The new Outlaw Pass is going to be, you know, free to a certain point. And then if you want to purchase the entire Outlaw Pass to get all the rewards, that will be 40 gold bars. This week, all players who own Outlaw Pass 4 will receive $400 in Red Dead Cash, plus a $10 gold bar rebate within 72 hours of purchasing. And in this uh, Outlaw Pass number 4, of course, you can receive up to 30 gold bars back. So you'll be able to get your gold bars back that you spent uh, once you get that $10 or 10 gold bar rebate within 72 hours. Also, some other things they did today as well. Uh, they talked about the clothing and outfits. Over 40 new items and variations of clothing and outfits have been added in between the, pre, uh, the prestigious bounty hunter and the outlaw pass rewards. Six new emotes have also been added in. One new walk style. Two new gun spinning tricks. There is an option now, if you are a bounty hunter, you have learned some of these, you know, the older gun spinning tricks or the new ones. They actually have an option now where you can change those in and out a little bit easier than before. Six new camp flags have been added in, three new photo studio backdrops, four new uh, stu uh, photo studio poses, five new moonshine property bar photos, one new coat variation has been added in, four new coat variations have been added in, both for the Mustang and Missouri Fox Trotter horse breeds. Uh, one new horse saddle has been added in, several new horse manes, eight new horse, uh, you know, kind of additions, you know, for, for coats, manes, that kind of thing, uh, tails, whatever the case may be. Three new horse, or excuse me, uh, several new bounty wagon uh, kind of changes to be unlocked through the prestigious bounty hunter progression. One new weapon has been added in as well. Several new uh, cl uh, clothing wraps have been added into Red Dead Online can be unlocked through the Outlaw Pass. Three new bowler styles. So just a lot of styles and changes to things we've already had that are existing things in game, but some things that are going to make some of this stuff look a little different as you go through either the Outlaw Pass or the Bounty Hunter uh, role itself. Uh, they have gameplay improvements listed as players now have the option to skip the intro mission directly. Players can now equip the advanced camera while on horseback. Players can now have the option to choose between stubble or no stubble with any beard option. A new gun spinning man management menu um like i was talking about here a few minutes ago updates have been made to the end of the sequence of the showdown modes as well continued improvements have been made to the network error handling when dealing with poor connections between players which should eliminate or reduce the frequency of error codes we'll have to wait and see how this goes because they have talked about this kind of stuff several times 
And the majority of everyone still reports the same error uh, messages we've been getting since the beta came out for Red Dead Online. They have made updates to existing free roam bounties. Uh, timers now do not appear until players have reached the go-to area or gotten close to the target, is escorting the target, or there is a only one minute remaining. Missions offering a certain on certain bounty boards that are very far away from the board have been removed from the board's mission pool. Uh, some changes they have done to daily balancing for the challenges. Now, I know a lot of people are upset about the daily challenges because you're not going to be what, able to make as much gold as you used to. Uh, daily streaks are no longer able to be maintained past 28, day, uh, 28 days. Once a player hits 28-day streak, their streak uh, counter will reset and they will receive a lump cash payment of 100 RDO cash, which I guess is all right, but not really that great either. Any player with a daily challenge streak greater than 28 days prior to December the 1st will have their streak reset automatically. The amount of gold rewarded for completing daily challenges has been reduced by 50% which is a large amount. I know that a lot of people out there have been grinding for a long time, playing for a long time. This is all they play. They have tons of gold, but there are people, uh, you know, that don't play as much or people that are just now getting into the game and they're definitely not going to be getting that payout in gold like they used to. And they really haven't talked about another way of making a lot of gold in games. We're going to kind of have to wait and see what happens with that, especially when it comes to the ratio of things that are purchased with gold compared to cash. Gonna kind of have to wait and see how this plays out uh, in the upcoming months. Uh, they've done some economy balancing. It says payouts in the 0 to 5 minute completion range have remained the same. Payouts in the 5 to 10 minute completion range have increased slightly. And payouts in the 10 plus minute range tail off considerably faster. In addition, bounty based hunter XP given for completing a bounty mission has increased to 300 bounty hunter XP up from 150. Uh, naturalist XP rewards for selling samples from farmland habit, habitats have uh, category has been reduced. Uh, and samples from all other non-legendary uh, categories for the animals will still award 50 naturalist XP when sold. Uh, they fixed some issues where players weren't able to load into Red Dead Online, supposedly. Um, fixed the synchronization issues with several different things when observing player sampling, uh, trying to appear into a Red Dead Online session or caused incorrect positioning of some of the uh, sedated animals when located near a player currently in a cutscene. Also, a few other things they fixed were just some legendary animals to stop spawning in free roam after hitting rank 15 as a naturalist. Uh, that was always talked about by the community. That was never officially confirmed by Rockstar, I guess really officially, but they kind of have uh, kind of announced that today. That should be a little bit better. So now after you hit rank 15, you should be able to find some more legendary animals. They fixed se several issues with some of these legendary animals and several other just tons, or I wouldn't say just several, tons of other stability and performance issues, interface issues, uh, clothing and emote issues, and, you know, like the shops, the butcher, uh, combat issues, and miscellaneous issues. That goes on for almost half the page, and there's tons of that. I'm not going to go into every single detail. I just kind of want to let you guys know or kind of give you guys a general overview of exactly what they were looking to change. If you want to read all those little minute details, like I said, the patch notes are listed down in the description. Some other things that were added in today, of course, some things are on sale. 30% off all stable slots, 30% off all repeaters, 30% off all pistols, 30% off the Schofield revolver, 30% off all horses, 30% off all saddles and improved saddles. 30% off all vests and 40% off all outfits, including roll outfits. Uh, there's 30% off all coats. That does not include legendary animal clothing from Gus. It's only coats out of the catalog. Also, they added today, if you are a uh, Prime subscriber and you have a Twitch account, you know, you use Twitch Prime, all that kind of stuff, you have that linked with your social club account, you can get, you can get a free bounty hunter license and a, a reward for a trimmed, uh, kind of bounty wagon a look so you know you get a new it's kind of like a gold trim onto your bounty uh, existing bounty wagon i should say uh besides that uh they are they are also doing some of those uh double xp events for bounty hunter missions and double xp for land of opportunity missions if you are new or if you are a new player also some of those land of opportunity missions are paying out extra cash as well this week Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Like I said, I'm going to link all this down in the description, the newswire, and the patch notes if you'd like to read over them for yourself. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.